Now, with uh, DOS protection, customers can control DDoS attacks or unexpected spikes in traffic. So here, there are rate limiting policies that can identify clients that may be sending a, an excessive rate of request. So usually when customers are first onboarded, there are rate policies that are predetermined and um, customers could use, but also they have the option to create their own policies. So either to create or modify an existing policy, you can click on the ellipsis sign and then select manage rate policy. So here you will see the list of existing ones in case there is a detail that you would like to change with the ones you're currently working with or create a new one. Um, you will need to fill out some details of this template. So first we're, we will start with a new policy that we're creating and add a name to it. Um, you could also add a description if needed and then select the other, the other options that um, you need to make a modification on for this template. So for example, count requests uh, based on request or response stages. You could also select uh, or define the client characteristics that will be taking into consideration to count these requests and then move forward uh, through the template. So then you're going to see the match criteria option. Um, and here you will define under which condition this policy will trigger. So here you have different options um, available. So I can think of uh, in your policy, if you have various host names, but you're looking to apply this policy for a specific one, then you can cr uh, click on the host name and add it here, sample.com, um, and then add other match criteria options on top. So for example, maybe a path that I would like to get this policy applied to as well. And then if I need to make any kind of exclusions, let's say maybe there is an IP uh, that if uh, sends requests um, to the specific hosting and path, I don't want to have that IP to be taken into consideration. So I'm going to exclude. So I'm going to add a does not match criteria here. And then just um, add the IP. Moving forward. Um, you will see that there is a section related to rate thresholds. Uh, first, uh, you will see the burst, um, which in this case, it's to select the number of hits per second over a five second period that if it gets exceeded, it will trigger either a monitor or deny action. So this can be modified down to the second. Um, and then for the average, again, it's for the same um, similar purpose. It's just this time it's a number of hits per second occurring within a two minute uh, period that if it is exceeded will trigger the action that you select. So once you have um, all of your changes, my match criteria ready, you can go ahead and proceed with a saving these changes and then deploying on staging and then production.